Hi guys, thank you for watching and welcome to my channel and to this video if you're new here. My name's Debbie if you don't know me and today I'm going to be doing a little palette bingo. If you're not familiar with the concept of a palette bingo, we're going to be picking five shades from a palette. This one has 12 shades in it and creating a look with it. So today's palette is going to be the Afrique from Juvia's Place. Recently acquired this palette but it's not a new palette so I thought it might be fun to do it palette bingo style and just get to know the palette that way and I'm almost you know at this point I'm pretty familiar with the formula so I didn't want to kind of do it as a first impressions just want to play with it really so it's got a beautiful colour story really really nice colour so I'm quite confident whatever the generator throws at me I should be able to create something quite cool with this one so so that's what we're going to do we've got a good mix of mattes and shimmers in there so hopefully we'll get a mix of those for the look so i've set my random generator from 1 to 12 let's see what we get so our first is number three number eight number six number six again Number nine and number one. So number three then we're going sort of left to right and, and down the row. So number three is that green Niger. We've got number eight, which is Cameroon, so that brown there. We've got number six, which is Contenu, I think you might say that, that blue metallic. We've got number nine, oh, which is Angelique, a nice light shimmer shade. And we've got number one, Cote de Avoir. I can't say that one, <laughs> Ivory Coast. So they're the ones that we've got today. I'm just gonna swatch them out on my hands so we can see the color story before we start, I think. So that's the color story that we're working with. And I'm not mad at it, that uh, Contenu shade is like a purpley sort of blue duo chromey shade. We've got a light shimmer for the inner corner. I think I can do something quite nice with that, so quite happy with that one. Let's get started. Okay, for my crease I'm going to go in with the blue shade. I'm going to start with that. And then I'm going to make up the rest as I go along because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. So we will see how this one progresses. I've already primed my eyes with the uh, MAC Paint Pot. Oh wow, that's quite a pigmented blue for the crease. I'm going to wing that out slightly, but not crazy winged out. Just only very, very slightly on the edge. And build up that colour in the crease. Beautiful blue though. I'm going to lay the colour on the other eye and then try and work out while I'm doing that, what I'm going to do next, because I'm not entirely sure. It's a nice colour story though, I think it's going to turn out nice. It's just working out where to place things for the best, really. If you've been around here before, you'll know blue isn't my absolute favourite colour of eyeshadow, but it just seems strange to make it my crease colour. But I didn't want to go in with a brown crease. could have done green, but I just thought, do something a bit different. It's taken me a little bit of building to get this not to look patchy actually. Just going to take a clean brush and no additional product just to really blow out that outer corner a bit. Just on that very corner. And what I'm going to try and do is to blend a bit of the green shade above that blue. So that's our colour number three there. I've got a very, very small brush here. This is the E36 by Morphe. And I'm just taking that above that blue, but sort of on the blue as well. So 50% on it and 50% on my skin really, to try and give me a blend up to the green. And that seems to be working okay. They're quite good colors to blend together. Just taking my time to make sure this doesn't get out of hand and end up right up to my brows. I am going to blend it with a clean brush in a moment and blend it up to my brows but don't want the full impact of green right to my brow bone. 
that brush with no additional product that we use to blend out the corners of the blue. I'm just going to blend with that just above that green just to soften that a little bit up to my brow. And then for my outer corners, just in this very small sort of outer V area here, I'm going to go back in with that green. I'm just going to stamp that where I want it. I'm not going to blend that too much because I really want the pigment to be a little bit stronger there. In with NYX Glitter Primer now to cut my lids a little bit to make some room for those shimmers to go on my lids. I'm only taking that glitter primer to about halfway because I don't want to go over that green that we've laid down already and make it difficult to blend into. And now I'm going to take the bluey purple shimmer there, the Cotono shade. I'm going to lay that just in the middle there, not bring it in too far because I want the look to have some brightness to it. So I'm going to bring that Angelique shade into my inner corner. So now for the Angelique shade. Ooh, let's change things up a bit. I love the pop of light that that's giving in the inner corner and in a part of my lid. It's really brought the look to life. I just want to re-intensify that green in the outer corner. I quite like the blend from green to blue to green, so I'm trying to make sure that's still visible in the look now we've packed that shimmer on. Here we've got the Cameroon shade left. I think what I'm going to do is do the green on my lower lash line, but blend that brownish shade underneath to really grunge things out on the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with Calm Mood by Linda Halberg in my waterline. And then I'm going to set that with that green. So I'm just stamping that on. I would have used a flat definer brush, but I can't find mine. So I'm using a, a smudge brush to do this, but try not to let this green take over too much. And then in with the Cameroon colour, just to grunge everything out on the lower lash line. Almost could have done without that colour. I don't think it's going to look too bad. Yeah, I'm just putting the very slightest touch of that and I think it's going to work right. It's going to muddy up a little bit, I think. But I've got quite a lot of sort of brown and blue in my t-shirt. I think it's kind of going to tie in with my overall look today. Just drag that up a little bit too far by accident. I quite like how it looks, so I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. And now I've got a clean, really fluffy brush just to blend that out. And because I've got that brown just touching the blue, I think it looks okay. For my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the Angelique shade again. And just that little portion of my lower lash line, so I just bring a little bit more brightness to the look. That's going on so well. That's on my lower lash line with no, nothing to adhere to, no primer or anything, and it's really showing up quite vivid. I love Juvis's formula for that, for their shimmers particularly. And that do take some building, but it looks good now I've done it. But the shimmers are instant impact. Just going to just with a pointy blendy brush, just make sure that I've pulled that colour down. Because it kind of just stops. Because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do at the beginning, so I didn't bring it all the way in. But that's fine, just going to blend it in just a little bit in that corner. 
Okay, that's the look to this point. Just gonna hop off camera for mascara and a lip and I'll be right back with you to show you the finished look. Okay guys, so here's the finished look for this one and I've paired it with a melt lipstick. This one's in the shade Old Fashioned. Chose this because it's got that grungy vibe that's sort of pulling out the lower lash line and I wanted a, I don't know, I didn't want green or blue. I wanted something that was in those sort of tones to pull it all together and I think it has done that. So looking at this palette, if you first looked at it, I don't think you would instantly see this look in it. So I was gravitated towards all the oranges and the golds when I first looked at this palette. So I'm super glad I did a palette bingo actually. It gets you out of your comfort zone and trying things that you perhaps wouldn't do. So that shade, the Angelique shade is gorgeous. That's gonna be one of my new favorite inner corner highlights, I think. And definitely like for the inner portion of your lid, it really brought this look to life, I think. The mattes took some building. I struggled a little bit. They blend all right, but had some patchiness with the blue. Just seemed to be sticking a little bit to my creases in my crease, but I do have quite a lot of wrinkles there. So I think I struggle more because of that than perhaps you might do. But I do find that with dubious mattes they do take a bit of building up but the finished look looks really nice and I'm really happy with it so glad I picked this one up I got it actually I got this one free because I bought one palette and got this one um free with the order so so yeah it's a great one to try out they had some really good offers on their site I bought this from the dubious website and they often have buy one get one freeze or 30 or 40 percent off so if you're interested in this one you're bound to be able to find it at a discount price at some point or other but I think you could create this with any blue or green palette that you have really I think I could have maybe done something similar with the 35 affinity 2 and then just brought in a, a brown for the lower lash line just to grunge things out a bit but no I really like it and I think it goes with the new hair. Do you guys like the new hair? If you've been here before, I was super blonde before. I'm trying to, to transition into a bit darker and do that sort of root stretch thing. And I really quite like how it's looking. So I hope you guys like it as well. And thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, then I'd love to have you. But other than that, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye.